Hello and welcome to Disboxing, the place for assistive tech reviews. And today we have an app for you called Claro Speak Plus. When I'm on my laptop or desktop, text-to-speech is one of my favourite weapons in my arsenal against the foe that is dyslexia. Having dyslexia means sometimes you'll spell things wrong or you'll miss words out and if you read it back you will never see the difference. So you either have to reread and reread and reread and press send hoping that you've seen everything or get someone else to read it for you. Text to speech helps you because it reads that stuff back for you without you having to go and get someone else to read your work back, giving you the independence to send off work, send off emails, knowing 100% that there are no mistakes. So I have that on my desktop and laptop, but Claro Speak Plus brings that functionality to the iPad. So you may be thinking, why would you pay for a third party app for something that iOS has built in? Well, I'll show you. Using the text to speech function, which is built into your iPad is great, but it has some limitations. So for instance, let me type. Um... So to get my iPad to read that back to me, firstly, I have to hold my finger down to bring up the menu to select the whole line. Then it will bring up the option to speak and then I can have my iPad write it back. Device boxing is the greatest tech review shake on the planet. Okay, so I've spelt shake wrong, so let's change that, that should be show. So now that I've changed that, it would be useful to be able to have that read back from the word review rather than the whole sentence because I know that the first part is okay. Um, to do that with the iOS built-in speech to text, you have to go through a few steps. So you'd have to hold your finger down, go to select, then you'd have to select the right um, words, so review, and then hit speak. Review show on the planet. And then it's played back to you. So let's contrast that to do the same thing in Claro Speak. Okay, so I'll just type the same sentence again. To play back within Claro Read, you simply tap for the cursor to be at the front of the sentence and press play. DUI boxing is the greatest tube review shake on the planet. Okay, so again, I have misspelled the word shake, which should be show, so I will just go ahead and change that. So now I'd like to play back from the word review. But this time, it's a much simpler way. Before we had to press and tap and drag. With Clara Reed, you simply tap where you'd like to start and press play. Review show on the planet. So that's great. Um, Another great function that you get with the text-to-speech from Claro Speak Plus is the ability to stop the playback halfway through a sentence or paragraph or any piece of text. With this, again, it's as simple as pressing a button. So if I go to the start of that... DY Boxing is the greatest tube review show on the planet. That should actually be tech. DY Boxing is the greatest... So I can stop there, uh, spell tech correctly, that would help. I can stop there and then start again without having to listen to the whole text before I can go back and change a piece of text. So now I can listen back to that. DY Boxing is the greatest tech review show on the planet. Perfect, that's great. So, I mean, instantly the functionality is much better. You've got much more control over what you want to do and it sounds a little bit better, to be honest. But if we go into the settings, you can see there's much more to this application. So first of all, you've got the voices. You can change it to the standard iOS voice or you can go to an American voice, you can go to an Australian voice if you want but I'll keep it with Serena from the UK. Uh, you can change the speed which you can do with the iOS version but again you've got to go into general settings, accessibility, it's much easier, a couple of clicks and you can do that within the app. Um, if you go down to the next section in the menu, here are all the options to change the way that the application looks. So if you have things like visual stress, this is where you can go to make things easier. So you can change the font, I like Arial, but you've got a whole host, you've even got Open Dyslexic, if that's something that helps you read. Um, you can change the font size, so 16 is a little small for me, I'll put that to 20. You can change the text colour and change the background. For me, yellow kind of works well, so I'm going to change that to yellow. And if we go back to the main page, that is much easier for me to read. Um, we'll go back into settings. Um, 
Type in echo for me is one of those killer features in text-to-speech software that's helped me out loads. It's great to listen back to what you've written once you've finished, but actually getting feedback as you type is one of the best ways to save time and to eliminate some of those mistakes that you may miss. You've got two options. You've got Word, which basically will play back a word as you type it, so you hear the word you spelt, you hear any spelling mistakes, or you hear when you've missed words. But it also has sentence, which is great. So when you press full stop, and spacebar, it will read back the sentence that you've just written. So this is how it works. Let me just write a quick sentence. This is because. And when I press spacebar. This is because the presenter is so handsome. That sounds about right. So there's one more thing that I'd like to show you, which is the word prediction. Now this is something that is already built into iOS, but the great thing about the word prediction with Clara Read is it gives you almost endless options. I mean, you've got like 12 options here. If you don't see what you want, you can keep going and keep going and keep going. Now, that's probably not the best way to type, but it is really useful if there are words that you know you constantly spell wrong. Um, it could just take some of the stress out of it. At some point, you will want to push this text out to another application. And Calero Speak Plus makes that quite easy. So all you need to do is hit that share button and you can send it to a message, you can send it to email, put that into a message and it should pop up. There you go, that's in a message, I can send that off to someone now, which is really useful. I can now send a message, know that there's no spelling mistakes, know that there's no missing letters and be confident that uh, the recipient will not know that I have dyslexia. Also, you can save the text in the application itself, save to text. You can save it as an audio file, which is fantastic, especially for something like revision notes or something. Before you go into an exam, before you go into an interview, you can have stuff on MP3 and listen to that rather than having to read if audio is your preferred way to get information. You can also save it to Dropbox and also finally save to prediction, which is a great function. So for instance, this boxing would not be in the dictionary and would not be offered up as one of the predicted words. But if I save that word to predictions that will start being offered up in the predictions uh, tab. So that's it, Claro Speak in a nutshell, and um, which I think you'll agree is quite a lot of app for your money. Uh, but there's just one more thing that I'd like to show you about Claro Speak Plus, and I don't quite understand why Claro have included this function into this app because it could have been a standalone app in itself, and that is the ORC function, which is optical character recognition. Um, so I'll show you how that works. This is great when you're doing research if you want to get some quotes or if you want to even get addresses and things um, and you don't want to have to type them out, this is a great way to do that. So if I go to capture text from photo, I could do this with images which are already in my photo library or if there's something new that I want to get the text from, I could take a picture with my iPad, especially for the purpose. So I'm going to go into my library and I can go to my camera roll and there's, okay, there's a piece of, uh, text that I was looking at. So you've got a few options when that comes up. You've got use, which will literally just scan that whole page for text. But for me, I want to take a certain piece of text, say it was an address that I need to send to someone. And this allows me to crop the section that I want to take. And I'll crop to the bottom of that paragraph. And then I'll click done. This just gives me a preview of the text that I want to grab. Once I hit use, And within a few seconds, it's all there, and I can start playing. What's your favourite charity? That has to be UNICEF. There you go. I mean, that's pretty slick, um, and that's built in to the Calero Speak Plus software, which, like I said, that could have been a standalone app by itself, and there are many standalone optical recognition apps, which are actually more expensive than this, but you don't get all this extra functionality. So that's it, that's Claro Speak Plus. Um, so let me know what you think of it. Let me know what you think of this review. Tell me in the comments below. Um, and also we've got a few copies of Claro Speak Plus to give away. So again, information about how to win those is down below in the description, but basically leave some comments and you will be entered into our draw or follow us on Facebook and Twitter for some other ways of how to win one of the Claro Read software giveaways. Um, but until next time, let me know what you think of the show. Let me know if there's anything that you'd like me to review. But until then, I will see you next time.